In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your new BrightSign player in standalone mode, which will allow it to operate without a network or internet connection and play content using its local storage exclusively. This video contains setup and configuration instructions. Don't worry though, the topics covered here are beginner friendly and suitable for all users. This will be easy. Here's what you need to get started. First, you'll need a BrightSign player. I'll use an XT5 here as an example, but this works the same for all our models. This player will need to be connected to a screen using an HDMI cable. You'll also need power, but for the moment, you can leave that disconnected. I'll get to that in a minute. And finally, you'll need a micro SD card and a USB card reader for your computer. Insert the micro SD card into the reader and format it with the XFAT file system. On Windows, you can right-click the drive to format. On a Mac, you can use the disk utility to erase. And that will take care of the hardware setup for the moment. Now let's take a look at the software you'll need. You'll need to download and install the BrightAuthor connected desktop application, which is available for both Mac and PC. This is totally free and can be found on the BrightSign website. Okay, let's get started. First, launch the desktop application BrightAuthor Connected. Once you have it launched, look in the upper menu for the last item called Admin. Click the icon for Setup first. I'm going to move quickly through these options, showing you what the default recommended settings are, and I'll point out the ones I think you should pay close attention to. First, give the player a name and a description. I recommend something that makes it easy to identify where the BrightSign player is located or the type of content you plan to run on it. Usually for standalone setups, this isn't important. But if you did ever put this player on a network, this could come in handy. Be sure to choose the time zone for your player, as the default value might be PST. You need the correct time zone for content scheduling. The publishing mode options define how the bright sign will receive its content. This is the main point of the setup package. In this case, you are using BrightAuthor connected to create your content by building presentations. Once you have built a presentation, it will be published along with its schedule directly to the micro SD card for your player. Just remember, you'll need to use your micro SD card reader for your computer. Now, as an alternative, you could use a USB thumb drive to make your content updates and can secure this process with a password. Network configuration should be changed to the option, include network configuration. Okay, now look at the right-hand panel for player settings. Player configuration has the local diagnostics web server off by default. Logging options are off by default. As part of your first time setup, I do recommend you include an OS update. It is important to update your player to the latest production release of the OS. To do this, click the rollout for your player model and choose latest released OS. This means that during the setup process, the bright sign will automatically download and apply the OS file. This file could be 400 megabytes in size, so keep that in mind if your internet connection is on the slow side. Remote screenshots are off by default. Debugging options are off by default. And finally, with that finished, it's time to save this to your micro SD card. Make sure the card is loaded into your card reader and click the Save Setup button in the lower left corner. Choose the card and let the setup files copy over. All right, now for the fun part. Go ahead and take the micro SD card out of the card reader and put it into the card slot of the player. Finally, you can power on your bright sign. Here's what you should expect to see as the bright sign starts for the first time and sets itself up. I'll let my XT5 run through the process and show you the highlights. On first boot, your bright sign will read the contents of the micro SD card, recognize a setup configuration, and will start applying it to the player. An OS update will look like this. And finally, when the process is complete, you should see a congratulations screen confirming the setup type. Congratulations, your bright sign player is now set up. 